All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefera TV, how's everybody doing? I know we putting out a lot of content, but shit is happening, and I'm the king of getting the what's happening out to the people Drake and Pusha T, I feel like I've said that name, those two names, 35,000 times today. We're coming back one last time for tonight. Drake has responded to everything that's going out. He has put out a statement. Let me tell you something. I'm a body language. I'm going to read what you put out in the atmosphere type nigga. And I'm looking at Drake. I'm looking at this OVO camp. And this is very out of character for this Instagram account of Champagne Poppies, all right? First off, Champagne Poppy doesn't put a lot on his Insta stories, even though he does use his Insta stories now more than he used to in the past. They don't put out a lot on the Insta stories. He's one of those niggas that, generally speaking, posts pictures, not long captions. That's been his rollout since day one of social media. Matter of fact, he's made a name for, uh, for himself for not being a nigga to respond to shit on social media. So for Drake to have to explain himself online, trust me, the backlash that he's received over the last 24 hours has been crazy since, since Pusha T released the diss record that everyone's talking about, the story of a date on And I know the story of a date on is new to everybody right now, right? It's the, the newest, freshest diss record out. I want to give Drake some credit on Duppy Freestyle. They always say I'm a Drake homer anyway. So two great diss records in the atmosphere for different reasons. And I'm looking at Drake and I'm watching him and his team hop on an Insta story to respond to everything. So Drake dropped this on his Insta story a few minutes ago. He said, I, I know everyone is enjoying the circus, but I want to clarify this image in question. And that is the image, ladies and gentlemen, of Drake with this crazy ass freaking black face. I don't know what's going on in this image. Um, I was told that it could have potentially been from his high school days. A, like some sort of a play Drake's an actor We all know he's on Degrassi He was clearly young in the face Right on his picture But let's get into it Drake was like This uh, was not from a clothing brand shoot Or my music career This picture is from 2007 A time in my life where I was an actor And I was working on a project That was about young black actors Struggling to get roles Being stereotyped and typecast These photos represented how African Americans Were once wrongfully portrayed in entertainment Me and my best friend at the time uh, who is also an actor from Sudan We're attempting to use our voice to bring awareness To the issues we dealt with at, uh, All the time as black actors At auditions This was to highlight and raise our frustrations With not always getting a fair chance In the industry and to make a, uh, make a point That the struggle for black actors Had not changed much Again very out of character for Drake To address anything The brothers made a career on not letting us Into his personal life Again this is what happens when you um when you become this quiet figure that doesn't do a lot of press do a lot of interviews you look out of place drake looks out of place right now obviously he's heard the push a t this obviously he's looking around like yo we can't just have this on my name all the major news outlets are picking this up like yo this this face that has become kind of the smile the smile human being the person this this great image that drake has all we know about drake is he loves women. He's a light-skinned guy. Not a, not not a lot of tattoos on no you know no tattoos on the face. None of that clean image Drake that he's been so far in his career with no kids. In a matter of 24 hours, he's got a lot of people wondering what the heck is going on. From the kid rumors to this blackface, and for Drake to hop on an Insta story and post this. Also think about it like this: when it it was all fun and games when Drake released the Duppy Freestyle, right? And after the Duppy Freestyle. He released the invoice, remember in the record, to Pusha T, he discussed an invoice for helping Pusha sell 20 more thousand copies. The invoice was for 100 grand. He released that on his Instagram account so people could come in, get their jokes off. You know what I mean? Think about it like this. On the Insta story, you can't get your jokes off like that. Now, people are going to still hop in Drake's comment section and clown him, but he wasn't about to allow that avenue for people to come in on a post he makes on his Instagram on a post. He did it in an Insta story. It's private. You can only watch it. You can't say nothing back to him. You can't come in, clown him in the comment section. 
notice the body language y'all i'm not just making this up that's these these are real things drake has been the king of that meme game after a diss record he did it to meek and he was doing it to freaking push a t with this invoice he sent that bad old, bad boy over to good music and def jam it was all fun and games to uh play with push it in why not drop that message on your instagram account right now he ain't gonna do that because he obviously knows people will clown him for it and call bs on his um I'm, I'm gonna just say he's kind of trying to cater to black issues right now again i don't know if that was the case maybe that's a true story what drake is bringing up it probably is but it's de it definitely looks like he's trying to him and his ovo team are trying to kind of clean this story up as much as possible because he looks crazy out here with a damn black mask on on his face as if he's a white person dressing up for a halloween uh some type of halloween shit i've seen so many white people do this shit where they when they're dressing up as athletes or, or rappers and they go paint their face black that's how drake looks but technically he's half black so he looks extra crazy again drake reacts to the push a t beef and the push a t disc record by releasing a statement very out of the ordinary for drake very uncharacteristic for that ovo team for drake to do that you know he's coming back with a disc record if you watch my video today they did eighty thousand views in four hours Reportedly, he's coming back real soon. Do you guys believe Drake when he says the black mask face picture, whatever you want to call it, was him in 2007 as an actor trying to bring light to black actors not getting the looks that other actors get? Y'all talk to me. Comment box below. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yes!